Andrew Passiago has made claims that he has time travelled. In his many writings and YouTube appearances, he describes his experience in detail. He claims to have travelled to the past on numerous occasions as a child and also teleported to Mars on two occasions as a teenager. The program that he participated in was called Project Pegasus. If he is telling the truth, it means that scientists have managed to cover up the most shocking secret that has ever been hidden from the public. However, if the story he tells is total fiction, then this man has an amazing vivid imagination, as he has described in intricate detail the science of his experience as well as the government people that he has been working alongside. The following stories will really stretch your imagination. So are they fact or just another conspiracy theory? You be the judge. Number 4. Andrew D. Basiago Andrew is a 57-year-old lawyer from Vancouver, Washington, who holds five academic degrees including a BA in History from UCLA and a Master of Philosophy from the University of Cambridge, so the man is very intelligent. Bessiago tells an amazing story where between the ages of 7 and 12, participated in the program called Project Pegasus, which was a secret program that developed teleportation and time travel. This was run by an organisation called DARPA, Defence Advanced Research Projects Agency. It is claimed that children were used instead of adults because the holograms created by the chronovisors would collapse when adults stood within them. Also because on the occasions that adults were used in time travel, often became insane. So by working with gifted children from an early age, the US government might in time create a group of adult time travellers capable of dealing with the psychological effects involved. Basiago was brought into the project in 1969 and was the first American child to teleport and took part in probes to past and future events, utilising different forms of time travel then being researched and developed by DARPA. Early tests initially used orphans from South America and many did not survive the hardship of the early tests. Basiago claims that he could involve in Project Pegasus through his father, who was an engineer for the project. Basiago claimed that he was involved in eight different time travel technologies during his time in the program. Basiago is on a crusade as a lawyer and statesman to have the US government disclose its time travel secrets. Number three. Tesla teleportation. To find out where much of this technology originated, we need to go back to Nikola Tesla, who, whilst conducting research in 1895, got the first indication that space and time might be influenced by using a highly magnetic field. Tesla experimented with radio frequencies along with power transmission through the Earth's atmosphere. Tesla had discovered the science behind teleportation, but the technology to do this was not available when Tesla was alive. His machine consisted of two grey elliptical booms, about 8 feet tall, separated by about 10 feet, between which a shimmering curtain of which Tesla called radiant energy was broadcast. Radiant energy is a form of energy that Tesla discovered that is pervasive in the universe and has among its properties the capacity to bend time and space. After his death in New York in 1943, the War Department seized papers that were found in his apartment. These papers were sent to Los Alamos, where in 1968, the US Defense had developed and pioneered Tesla teleportation, where they were capable of opening up a vortal tunnel in time and space through which someone could pass. Asiago said that project participants would jump through this field of radiant energy into a vortal tunnel and when the tunnel closed, they found themselves at their destination. Number 2. Time Travelling Basiago claims that through the time travelling technology, 
It can be seen in a photograph at Gettysburg in 1863 at the Lincoln Speech Site, a trip which he took in 1972. He claims that he'd been dressed in period clothing as a Union bugle boy, but said that he attracted too much attention as he was wearing oversized men's shoes. He then left the area towards the day where Lincoln was talking, and that was where he was photographed. He also claims to have travelled to Ford's Theatre the night Lincoln was assassinated, and that he'd attended that site on five or six occasions. Although he claims he never actually witnessed the assassination, he was on the theatre level where Lincoln was shot, followed by all the noise and commotion that was terrible to hear. Basiago claims that each of his visits to the past were different, like they were sending them to slightly different alternative realities on adjacent timelines. And as these visits began to accumulate, he twice ran into himself on two visits. Basiago said that in order to return to the present or their point of origin, some sort of holographic technology allowed them to travel both physically and virtually as in remote viewing. If they were in the hologram for 50 minutes or less, the hologram would collapse and after 60 seconds of standing in a field of supercharged particles, they would find themselves back in the present. Number 1. Visiting Mars Following his involvement in Project Pegasus, Basiago claims that from 1980 to 1984, he was recruited into a second CIA-led project that involved the use of teleportation technology for travel to Mars. These jump rooms led to him and others travelling to the Red Planet on multiple occasions, witnessing indigenous life on Mars as well as secret bases there. In 1980, at the start of the CIA Mars Jump Room project, Basiaga claims that he learned that Barack Obama had also been pre-identified as a future president, and even Basiaga himself was destined to become a US president. In 1981, when he was 19, he was teleported to Mars from a jump room at a CIA facility in El Segundo, California. He was trained for these missions by a CIA officer named Courtney M. Hunt, whose identity as a CIA officer had been verified by community ethicist Dr. Jean Maria Arrigo and career army security attaché Captain Ernest Garcia, a veteran of many classified projects. On his first trip via the jump room, he arrived at an underground location and walked up a concrete stairwell, then stepped out onto the surface and was met by three human beings from Earth and stood around for about an hour. Then he was told that he could leave and teleport back to Earth. He said the atmosphere was breathable but thin. The sky was a very pale blue. On his second trip to Mars, he was accompanied by Courtney M. Hunt. They used the same jump room at the CIA facility in El Segundo to reach Mars and arrived at the same underground location. When they walked up the stairs and stepped out onto the surface, they walked around on the surface for three or four hours. They visited an old stone house and interacted with the colonists from Earth. Basiago claims that there is life on Mars and said that there was evidence of humanoid beings, animal species, carved statues, built structures and dead bodies. The life on Mars consists of intelligent bipedal hominids capable of carving statues and building structures and a variety of animal species that exist, that once existed, or that have never existed on Earth. Reptilian species predominate. He concludes that discovery of life on Mars marks an epochal moment in human history when, for the first time, human beings from Earth have encountered biological organisms living elsewhere in the cosmos.